Hello, I'm TD Dammit, so I'm an average guy. Um, I do videos, I am an entrepreneur, and I also have a full-time job in uh, the medical field. Today I was thinking about Memorial Day. I've been thinking about Memorial Day all of May, because May is also the Armed Forces um, month to think about the people who serve in the military. But the memorial that I was thinking about is the one from Genesis 9.13. And is very relevant for right now. Because if you think about the rainbow, we don't see many rainbows in California because it hardly rains. But when it does, sometimes you'll spot a rainbow. But the rainbow in the Bible is supposed to be a reminder. It could be kind of a memorial. You know that we drive around. If you drive around L.A. or even in your city, you might see... At intersection, at one of the corners of the intersection might be some candles, some flowers, a picture, or whatever, of someone that might have got hit by a car, someone that might have got shot, or someone that met their doom in that area. And so when you look at a memorial, you got to think about the people. Even if it's a cruel person or someone terrible, it is still sad to see their memorial there. You know, even though the proverb says that when a wicked person dies, people rejoice. But you also have to look at the other proverbs that talks about when people meet their doom. You're one step closer to your doom too, so don't celebrate too hard. Because one out of every one person is going to meet their maker. Everyone is going to see God at the end. Are you going to see God to be judged? Or are you going to see God to be blessed and welcomed into his kingdom? But the memorial, the rainbow memorial, is also a covenant between God and humanity. The whole world will never ever suffer another flood by water. But one day, the flood by the flames, the lava, the, the heat that we will not survive in the flesh but in the spirit we will meet God hopefully you'll meet God to be blessed and to walk be welcomed but next month when you see the rainbow all over the place think about the memorial that God made with man that he won't destroy man by water and coincidentally the rainbow came out after Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed you got to read that story for yourself because it is something else. It is a really great way to look at this world. Because you hear people say, well, if God doesn't judge this world, right now, God owes Sodom and Gomorrah an apology. No, he doesn't. Because in Sodom and Gomorrah, there was no righteous people. There was no, no one but Lot's family. They were nearly righteous because they had communication with God. But right now, I want you all to remember Memorial Day. Remember the people who died, mostly the people who died willfully for their friends and family and for their country. Because the people who served in the military we will never know freedom. We will never know freedom like they do because we're protected in our country we know freedom and we have freedom but the people who helped to fight for freedom ever since the civil war to now even when they were when this country was fighting against the british to get independence in 1776 and to fight for the slavery that was happening in the 1860s and that ended because of the Civil War. But we are free. You may fight against that idea, but it doesn't really matter because the truth is that we're free. If this country observes people that they could go and do whatever they want as far as like their sexuality goes, that's a lot of freedom. But you're not free to suffer the consequences of whatever happens next. Just like this Memorial Day, when you look at 
the celebrations of the people that we remember, that served. Just remember that those people fought for you to have freedom. So do you enjoy your freedom in the way that glorifies God? Or do you enjoy your freedom just to give you an excuse to do whatever you want? Thank you for listening and like and subscribe and watch my other videos. Hope some of this resonated with you. And I encourage you this memorial. Read Genesis 9. Read that story. In general, just read the word. Because in the, the Bible is filled with memorials and covenants. There's a contract between God and man from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Are you part of that contract? Did you agree to the terms of the contract? Well, if you have, you have to be under that leadership. Just like when the military servicemen, when they enlist, they're agreeing to a contract. Two years, four years, whatever. I've never served. My dad didn't want me to. Because he know he he didn't he did not want me to experience war. He did not want me to experience that life. Maybe he, he knew that I wasn't really a strong physical specimen to do that. But that's not the way, that's not the direction my life went. So this Memorial Day, observe those.